Uh, Chef John Matsubara, you're so famous. This is the third time I've come here and you're, <laughs> you're sold out. Who just sells out and closes the door before, like what, are you, what time are you supposed to close? We're supposed to close at six, and, but. And what uh, time is it now? 3.15. Trust me. <laughs> He's looking pimp right now. This is, this is the best ever. Look, this is the guy. He's shutting the thing down. Can't even stay open as long. That's yeah, it was crazy. Is. It was crazy that they had a line out the door and it just didn't stop. And we we had to like after after a certain amount, we just had to tell them we're done. It's Thursday at three in the afternoon. We can only make so much food. Wow. Yeah, we made a lot, and it just it just was nonstop. So we had to. Wow. We had, hey, congratulations. Uh, why, thank you. I mean, it's a good problem. That's a great I'm, I'm sorry it keeps happening to you. I, 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 <laughs> when, when he texted me this morning, I'm like, yeah, I'll be here. We're, do, we're doing We're open, John, man. don't we're worry open. about it. You're just building the hype. <laughs> the question is, can you handle the hype that you are building? It's uh, building. It's big. I'm like, every day. This so is cool. like, you know what I'm saying? This is like when Ryan Seacrest is like, and the new American Idol is <laughs> coming up right after this break. That's what you're doing to me. Matsubara. I tell you what, I tell you what we can whip up. Yeah, yeah. We can whip up, uh, we got our hamburger steak. We got a Kahlua pig poke bowl. <laughs> it's not so bad what after else? all. What else can we do? I love it. And Don't we got a... Uh, I'm gonna get in here and zoom in, see what you have. I can always... <laughs> and then we have a... Uh, Fresh fish of the day, which is ahi. We do that. Okay, do right. whatever, but I trust you. You're the chef. That's all we got left. <laughs> Pick a table, any table. I'll go send out some food. Okay, okay, yeah. shoot. Wow, look at this, nice, dude. Nice. We came here. <laughs> this we are on the hottest spot in all of Hawaii right now, folks. It's shutting down every day. Uh, Mike Wong correctly assumed this place was B B Y O B. Nice move. I'm thinking John could uh, use a shot of whiskey <laughs> after a long. Officially, we're closed. Recyclable cups from the Sir Brother Foundation. Yes. <laughs> James Harden's gonna be there, right? Yes. Is Harden gonna be there? Yes. Go Russell, with Cole Russell there. Westbrook? Yes. Oh, sweet. Kawhi Leonard. Not Paul George. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if they can play. We don't know if they can shut up. We're gonna see them warm up. Look at that. Look at that. You look like you're glowing now. Sorry, so. butter poached crab. Go eat. You're starving. And then this is a keto salad. So oh, nice. butter poached fish. We just made this up right now, just for you, Hawaiian. Oh right? my God. And brother Mikey it. over there. Yes. Yeah. And there's a keto oh, salad for you and Joni. The <laughs> keto salad. The keto salad. Yeah, yeah. Oh and then uh, Jamie has some uh, mm. uh, forks and mm. knives Ooh. over here. Oh, Thank you so much. Wow. Private show. Congratulations. Oh, Congratulations. Ah, yeah, yeah. Cheers this to that. Yes. No, 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 real quick, with, the, with the light coming in from the... Congratulations, man. This place is beautiful. Thank you. What a I mean, yeah. With the light coming in from the window, and you looking uh, ever so sexily. In a quick... Sexily. Like, right. In a, in, a, in a, you know, in your, in your best words, what is the concept, the heart behind uh, Feast here? Refine grinds. I like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what it says on our logo. Cheese! <laughs> Cheese! No, that is like that is actually it's poetic. Beautiful. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. Because it says it all. Yep. You're right. Because it's like you have the experience of a I don't know what the what is it the five star. You're like a you're a fine dining chef. You can do it at the highest level. And this have. this pays the rent. So <laughs> the plate lunch pays the rent. Then we can go play around with all the fun expensive stuff. So yeah. this is workman's food. Yes. Yeah. I still do the dishes. So this is workman's <laughs> food. <laughs> he's not kidding. Yeah. I know he's not. Look at this. He's not kidding, folks. Either that or he was doing some kind of surgery that he doesn't want you to know about. Blue glove, I'll get you a whole pack, bro. You're wearing it. Hey, Mikey, so about that prostate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Thank you. We closed just for Hawaiian rain. Got a mic. Yes. Dude, we are honored. Sweet. Thank you so much. Oh, my. We're going to test it out. We're going to test it out. It's hard to count on like how many portions we have left. So if we do like uh, 30 portions of 
hamburger steak or 50 portions of fried chicken or whatever. There's so many orders coming in that I don't have time to check it because they keep taking the orders. I'm trying to get out like 50, 50 dishes in like half an hour, every half an hour, but wow. there's just piling back. So it's, uh, we have to figure it out. It's a good problem. It's a great problem. But I, yeah, we don't want to disappoint anyone, but we just like, yeah, yeah. We, there's only so much food we can make. In a okay, day. so someone listening right now is really hungry and they love you and they want to get this food. What's their best hack? How do they get to you? The quickest, easiest, most efficient, organized. I tell way? you what, you got. I mean, everyone stands in line at eleven. So, I mean, if you really want in, get in, get in line at eleven because what, once the train goes and once it starts, it gets kind of gnarly because then there's no seats and then people are waiting and um, you know we we try our best. So we can only try our best. I mean, we tried to prep out for two or three days and we ran out in one, so. I mean, we're trying to get it going. So today we have to shut down and we have to get ready for tomorrow already because we just ran out of everything. Tuesday, we Tuesday we shut down early. Wednesday, we shut down early. This is Thursday, it's not even the weekend yet, folks. Today we shut down the earliest though. Wow. Today, I mean, we at least stayed open until like about four on Tuesday. Wow. Four or five. Your fish That's ahi? Oh, it's so good. Oh, so good. Wow. Fresh ahi. So we got the, we got the, you know, I've been working in the industry so long. I get yeah. all these vendors that hook me up with the best ingredients, and then we yeah. can get it at a price point where, I mean, it's just plate lunch. This is like plate lunch price uh, food, so Dude, it's a, it, it's what the what best it, value. So it's convenience and value. That's what we want to get known for. Yeah. And if we can generate enough where, um, you know, we can get a, a good following, then we're all set. I mean, because you know, we don't we do a lot of private dining and off catering stuff, and so we we do buyouts over here. So it's pretty fun. We're also doing like five dollar Fridays for UH. So we're, we're trying to come up with this chili. We're trying to copy Zippy's. Nice. We made all these different versions of Zippy's chili, so we can get it down, so it has an addictive quality. And then we're gonna serve it with our like fried chicken. So fried chicken and a bowl of chili for five bucks for UH wow. students only. Okay, now look. Only. Now, because okay. otherwise we gotta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Otherwise they're never gonna be open. That's all you want. Okay, well. <laughs> Okay, so answer me this right I now. I give you all for free. We are in the middle of like the hottest chicken sandwich war, right? This nation has ever seen. Oh yeah. I mean, forget about forget about like JFC you know. on a bun. Yeah. JFC on a bun. JFC on a bun. JFC on a bun. Where do you put that in the rank? We got Popeye's chicken clocking at the number one contender. We got KFCs running in there. We got probably a sandwich on the way. Hey, you know what you guys gotta try? Jollibee. That's what I'm saying. Jollibee. So the good. Filipinos got there. They got their. They got the Maggie. In. So where does the John? Fried chicken coming. We're still JFC. working on it. We're trying to make, create a version with the chicken breast because right now it's our chicken thigh and it has yeah. all that skin that's crunchy and crispy yes. and then we put it with our sauce. So as long as we um, come up with a chicken breast recipe, we're working on it. The chicken with the sauce? Yeah, that's the JFC. That's, that is the JFC? The, the JFC. small chicken pieces? Oh, okay. Yeah. That uh, is really one good. sliced, yeah. So that's the one we had. So you, I know you guys came to Asia mm -hmm. and then we had the same chicken over there, but we had a chicken sandwich. Ooh. Our chicken sandwich wasn't as the skin to meat ratio wasn't where we wanted it, so we're gonna we're gonna instead of putting it out there, we want to wait and do it right. I mean, I don't know when they're gonna do it now because they're running out of food, but yeah. we want to we want to create that perfect bite, you know. And then have you ever had this problem? This is kind of new. Oh, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. It's good though, but it gets. It's. I think it's because you know we wanted to create it more of a community environment for yeah. UH and for the neighbors and all that. Right. Uh, and then uh, you know, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, we're cooking all these dishes you see here were created at Sunday dinner at the Matsubara family house. Wow. Our salt beef watercress, our McBara oh, burger. So good. That yeah. So all these dishes we tried at you know Sunday dinner we ate and then it's now it's on our menu our chazuke and all that so Ooh. it really is about like you know when I had to figure out a business concept and a business model that would sustain a small business where I could do a more high end stuff I had to figure out okay what kind of food can I use it to create a sustainability model and it was real food stuff I cook for my family every Sunday nice. and then you know if they approve then it was good to go. We would have a right. craving for something, right, right. and then I would create the best version to serve to my family. Mm. And then it was like, hey, you can take this and serve it in Indonesia, or serve it at feast, or wherever, and it would be, you know, we would be proud of it. I don't have to cook fancy stuff. Right, right, totally. Yeah, because I, that's not what I eat when I go out. But I eat this when I go out. But so. there's still some flair. It's not like your normal, like yeah. just plain lunch. Oh, we, we, we don't want to make it the obvious, yeah. right? Right. So that's what makes it different, though. Yeah. It's the combination, right? Of it has the plain lunch, home comfort vibe. It's not high maka maka, 
right? And even the prices reflect, right? But it's like still there's like that fine dining, you know, experience. That's why it's perfect. Refined grinds. Fine grinds. Yeah. 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 If you don't get a bite, it's gonna. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Yay. It's a quick cook cut. Oh my god. So wait, it's a ube cookie. Ube crinkle cut, yeah. So mm. you know like the love of flavor of ube is like toasted vanilla and uh, pistachio. Get it. Thank Get it. You. <laughs> Thank you. Or is it like sweet potato? Oh maybe it's a type of bean versus a type of potato? I don't know. What is that one Okinawan bean? potato? Ube? Mm. Um, um so what is Ube? It's on Google. Yes, Google it. Everybody has like the latest phone oh. in their pocket. I know. And Mine is actually right here. We're gonna right sit over here just like, I What do you think it is? Do you think it's this? Do you think it's that? Because I like to guess. That? I know that it's not a taro and I know it's not a sweet potato, but I don't know exactly what it, it is. It is a sweet potato. It's a purple, <laughs> purple yam. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sweaty fingers. Come get this valuable item. Sign up right here at the Stat Sheriff, right before the big LA Clippers versus Rockets game. And you could be the winner. Kawhi Leonard, who is here live tonight with James Harden, Russell Westbrook, Paul George, and other people who matter less. But it doesn't matter. It's valuable. The whole package. Come on down, check it out, get this ball in your hands. Sam Ryan Show 99.
Kinky Con and Sweet Expo. <gasps> is that what we're doing? That's what this is. Oh, I thought you said it was a food and product yeah, well, show. Well, that too. Girl, read the whole ticket. I'm looking at this. Oh, yeah, it's it's all part of it. There's also Pumpkin Festival. Oh. What else? What else? They're trying to cram all kinds of stuff in this Just, one in this one expo. Oh yeah, they're doing everything. Check all the words have meanings, girl. So extra excitement then now. Yeah. Hi everybody. Hello. Let's go. You ready for the new product and food show? Are you ready, girl? You ready? Oh, yeah. no. She's like, I gotta talk to my agent before I can be on your show. No, why are you doing it? Is it turtles? I want to save some turtles. <laughs> you have battery on your phone? Yeah. What is this? Oh, can, can, can we come in her? Can we come in What's up, babe? What? Come in her and go away. Yeah. Yeah. Ship it out, right? Yeah. Isn't it fixed? Okay. Okay, we're getting the, we're getting the samples. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Ryan, try some. Try some. Okay. That's, that's takoyaki. Okay. This is kimchi. Oh, yeah, yeah, we still have this in Food Land. We sell it in Thai. We sell it in Safeway, Long, um, Walmart, Don Quixote. Mm -hmm. We sell it in a lot of places. Right. All right. Kimchi. Dude, I'm telling you, this is going to change the game right here. Kimchi popcorn from Magic Planet. The food and new product show here at the Blaisdell. Mmm. Yes. Yummy. Yes. Some of this right here. Kimchi popcorn. Come on, Biku. Celebrity sighting. Kathy with a K. Hi, Hawaiian Ryan. Hi. 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 Looks good. Looks good. Ooh. Hey. Let's try out this pork stew. From where? From where? I don't even know where. I don't. I don't know where. Where? <laughs> I'd like to give a shout out to no one in particular. <laughs> to whoever made this. Shout out to whoever made this really good pork stew and have a beef stew. Where's my pork? Oh, here. Yeah. So good. How is this not the best thing ever? <laughs> Ow! It's like it's it's squeezing my toes so so hard. Yeah. I mean, what other massage chair squeezes your toes? I know. Ah! Oh, look at you with your new product. From the food and new product show. It hangs. Just hanging out. <laughs> For free. What? I think. Yeah, I think. Was it? it? Was. Well, For we tipped. <laughs> oh. For free with tip. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing's ever really free. Yeah. Of free soap and stuff. Wow. And as I said, like, I'm too humble of a person to take all this, so. Dude. I'm not even trying to boast, but there you go. Wow. This wow. peppermint. Like a peppermint, Christmas tree, pine. That is amazing. Everybody down to smell like a Christmas tree? Yeah, why not? Right there, right there. This one here is like a fresh linen. 
So these yeah. are not CBD infused, by the way. These are just oh, regular oh, soaps. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. But if you want the CBD ones, you gotta like, go to Hemp Tour. Okay. Out in Waikiki, yeah. yeah. Oh, definitely. So nice fresh linen. Wow. Thank I already you. have dryer sheets like that. I don't want to smell like oh, too much fresh linen. Yeah. <laughs> and then this one, just the other one. I think I get them in the box. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, this one's kind of broken here, but it smells amazing. Like, what is that? So, yeah. Nice. It has like a, uh, what is this the one? bean that's in there. Crap. <laughs> bean nuts? That's why Mama, Mama D makes them. I just sell them, but I, uh -oh, nice. sometimes I forget. Does she make so many? Yeah. Like this one right here, like what she does, she gets bored after a while. And she has a confetti soap, right? Oh. And the confetti soap is literally every single soap she makes that day powdered oh, wow. into one. And then, or she'll make them like this, layers and everything else. It's like yeah. a, a suicide so, uh, yeah. therapy. Like this, this one here is uh, that middle one. It's called Mountain Man. It's uh, at our store. You'll see the Moosey B looking one. It's got real uh, furukake on it, like, and um, the cured meat inside. Oh, oh wow. So it smells like spam. It does, but it's called Mountain Man. It has hints of tobacco in it and everything too. Yeah. If it's you crazy. want to catch that local girl, <laughs> make sure you put on the essence of spam. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Forget those sexy local man flavors there. Yeah? <laughs> oh yeah, this one right here. So this is kind of what the Mountain Man's made out of, but it's just more it. of the tobacco. Oh, that's I call it sexy soap, honestly. Yeah. Like just wow. it's like, it's like the fancy like manly, yeah. manly soap, but it's like Oh, I like my men's men like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a little dirty. You like it made like, a little I like dirty. it dirty. Like a you smell like you went hiking for two days without a shower. You sexy. Yesterday is gone. Got the hard work done Got no limits left I can break through it Fly away from home Oh, I'm on the edge of where I've never been I can go, I can go oh, oh, I'm on the edge of where I've never been I can go, I can go Where I've never been I can go, I can go oh. 